What's up, man? Welcome back to another episode of the Coaching Carousel series. In today's episode, we have Pittsburgh on the schedule, also known as Pitt. They're currently 3-3. Three and three. We are 8-0, and oh, the number five team in the country. We're trying to stay that way, trying to stay undefeated here late in the season. And if you want to see us stay undefeated, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified the next time I drop a video just like this one. And also slide in the comment section and talk to your boy. But if you want to see us lose, you can also hit that like button and do all those things as well. You know what I'm saying? But I'm ready for a game, so let's hop into it. And for the team stats, we have Pittsburgh, and their offense seems to be underperforming so far this year. They are decent at running the ball, but other than that, offense is kind of bad. And on the defensive side, they don't seem to do anything over there particularly well. They do defend the run okay, and they don't give up a ton of points. Pittsburgh is not a good football team, and hopefully, I don't regret saying it. And for your California Golden Bears, our offense is good. We have a good quarterback, have a good halfback, we got receivers that can make plays. And on the defensive side, we're good over there as well. You could argue that we are better on the defensive side than we are on the offensive side, and I wouldn't be mad at you if you said that, because it could be true, and it probably is true. Top players for Pitt, we got a halfback, we got a tight end, and we got a receiver. So three guys on the offensive side, and all three of these guys are over 95 overall okay top players for your california golden bears we got jeremiah irby we got Jaden ott stepping on all the ops and we got j michael sturdy glad to have you with us in the studio i'm reese davis bringing you the ea sports ncaa football here's another game rain show, game presented by nissan innovation that excites but the panthers have ain't been nothing changed Funk and sometimes because we're trying to get long, a win, the harder you work, the worse it gets. We are here to get it way. in. They have to find a way to relax, play to their capabilities, and try to find something that can give them a little bit of power. Let's do it. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA we need this win to stay atop. Action coming at you right now. Fred the Hester ACC Coaster. So we need to go postal. Yeah. What you wanna do, Pittsburgh? What? We gonna stand in the water like an iceberg. Yeah! And if you think you the Titanic, oh my God. You know you really can't stand it. Bitch! Cause we gonna sink you. Oh hell no! Oh, ah. Don't try to turn unless you turn on your blinker. And now let's head down to the coin jar. And we gonna Frankie greet you Michael and meet Zero. you. Real Coca-Cola taste. You think you cold? We gonna hit you with the heaters. Mark, they'll try to take advantage of that and try to make some big plays in the passing game, maybe early. No. And then go back no. to the reliable. And oh my God. Play. Really? To the really? To the ten. Touchdown, Pitt. The Panthers are looking for some new players to step up this season. Freshman tight end. Every team needs a new star to be born year in and year out. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. And we have the San Diego goes, State getting the upset first. over Boise now State. Hope just to hold on but to is it really an upset? This was a tight if you look at the, the records. End. The Aztecs pull it off by a sink. Probably not. He gets oh. out to about the 28-yard line. He's to the 40. Gah. He's at midfield. Gah. And he shoved out of bounds to 39 Let's yard line. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he's going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't I was that last game, better. coach. I'm turning up today. Scrambling around. Just throw it away. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pat. And down he goes. There we go. 30. They make the stop around the 27 yard line. Let's go, Jaden. Eight right. yards on that play. That brings up second and one. He's taken down at the 18 yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run play on a football somebody's got to make a play and that's what winning the difference between winning a football game oh, we got to get down how you play on third down and he's hurt again Son of a bitch. he's tackled at the 10 yard line three yard gain by the running back the sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there and kai is out for one quarter 
So he will return. Uh, He's on the run. Get him. Four and inches. We're going for it. Oh, and we get it just barely. Get up in there. Maybe three yards on that run. Spread out right up the middle. Jaden Ott stepping on all the ops. And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that idea of what you're doing, how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads. Nope. And hey, yeah. Stop it. Brought down quickly. He's got the ah, he got blocked. Nice run there as they work the outside. Tackle around the 42-yard line. Uh, that's too the much cushion. Bad it done. To his tight end, nothing doing. Push Every him back. Around the 48-yard line. He sails it long. Oh my! And he's got it. And a huge touchdown play. Let a man sprint nice right up the, the middle right of the receiver, field. And it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. It's and we got Florida State ACC. with the lead of a number three no Louisville. About opening it up early. They do just that. Don't you want to lose the first touchdown Louisville? The and for Douglas, and let us take your spot for real. Florida State has but we got to win first. And horribly off target. He's to the 40. Ah! Makes oh. it to the 44. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this. Is he... And that's the end of the first quarter. The scoreboard lit up. We're down 14 to 7. The defense looking real sketchy seven. right now. Nice run there. Andy gets about four yards on the option keeper. He's tackled okay. the 44 yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Jay he's taken Michael down the 25 yard line. Get around. Inside the 10. There go. He's pushed out of bounds at about the seven yard line. That's how you execute. Line. Boy, got folded like a lawn chair. And they make the stop at the one. To the left, to the left. Running that X feet stretch to the left. They can't stop it. Nobody can. Ashton is in the end zone again. Atlantic Coast Conference action in the spotlight, and we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And, for and FSU, Florida State is up 10-0 the on lead. the number three team in the country. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down at about the 35. Down. No! Get him in the backfield. And you're oh, not your blitz. You get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back Because I like taking risks. Oh my. That's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. We cannot First give down. them third and medium. Tackle we need third and long. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. That makes it second and 14. Right there to knock it away. Jeremiah. Well, the corner made a pretty athletic play here. Quick out 
to his receiver. Nice. Tackle him. Thank you. Right he might go for it. Flags are all and that's a false start. Now you have to punt it. False start. Awesome. You big dummy. You big dummy. Yeah. Down to about the 44-yard line. Nope. Uh, he gets it down here. Knock him down for a loss. Can't be missing blocks. Up the middle for a nice game. They get about four on that keeper. Get up, Kai. Scrambling around. Go. Gets it to his tight end for a first All right. down. Tackle made right around the 38-yard line. Setting up play action. Ah, it's out of bounds. Dang. He fights forward to about the 36. Denied. Uh, the defense was ready for that pass and catch. All right, so we kind of in no man's land. We can't kick a field goal from here. And I don't want to punt it. So, we going for it. And bat it down. <laughs> Diving, bat down. Oh, damn it. All right, and nobody's blocking. <laughs> They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. Oh! Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. They hand it off. Denied. He fights forward to about the 33. California's going to use their first time out of the half here. I don't care if it's just nine seconds. I want those nine seconds. Mangum will be the return man. Yay! They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Let's get down. <laughs> now he's scrambling. He's in trouble. He guns it left side. Catches it. That's Jermaine Scary Terry. Ah! Around the 35 yard line. Just ain't got the speed. So at the end of the half, 14 apiece. You got a tie ball game. Despite the defense. We looking real sketchy to, to start the game. The EA Sports NCAA giving up Football two big touchdowns, show, one on the first play, Nissan. but we missed like three or four tackles. David Pollock and I here in the studio. And then the next possession, just we blow coverage and let a guy run right up the middle of the field into this game and, both and get a touchdown. Have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses first and foremost did a good job. And the thing about it. And I was in cover three, so it was supposed to be a safety right in the middle of the field. And you usually see those critical mistakes. But somehow, set up a short he was not there. Take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to the make offense has been mistakes. going. Coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes. Strictly out the run. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback with the occasional pass. Jaden Ott is stepping on the ops way. right now. Got to continue feeding him the ball. Hopefully, J. Michael Sturdy or we'll Mr. Anderson to show up. Or Mason Mangum. Including yours. Mr. Eminem. Ready for the second half. Tackle at about the 33 yard line. Get down. Decides to slide. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Fires right side. Man, he's he was a yard. Slides down. To down the again, Kyle. Makes it to the 41. He's tackled around the 33 yard line. Oh, oh no! Behind him! This one's picked off. 
and that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high if you point throw the, the ball, ball the out in front of him. Wasn't in rhythm on the throw. That's a catch. But if you throw it behind him, it's a catch from the other team. Hand off inside, and he's quickly brought down. And down he goes at the 25. Is it to the middle of the field? No. They'll bring him down to the 25-yard line. Yay. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's to the 40. Come on, Eminem. He's at midfield. He's tackled hey, on, the 46. And they get nice yardage get on up, that Get up through there. They hand it off again. He gets hit out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Third down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Throws on a run, and he's got his wide receiver. And they make the stop at the 26. This one's going got him. to the end zone. And he lays up. Michael Sturdy. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. No. Taken down at about the 17 Stop yard Stop him. Line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers Nate. bring to the table. As soon as he starts. Ah. He's taken down around the 29 yard line. Made right around the 38 yard line. Somebody jumped early now. There's a false start again. False, false start. start. You big dummy. Let's get off me. I'll be running He's through that. Field. Makes it to the 47. Come on, man. On the right no. side. Popping. Down at the 46 yard line. Second and nine. Got gotcha. you. What are you doing, Nate? You not looking so great. He's at the forty. Nah, man, they probably gonna go for it. My mistake. They not going for it. Big kick here to try to pin the offense. Deep I the would boo them too. Now they're probably going to go for it. <laughs> End of the third, and we've got Watch them come out in the fourth quarter and go for it. Golden Bear. But we do have a seven-point lead. I wish it was more. So make sure you put up four. I told y'all. I told you they was going to come out and go for it. And... Nice run up the middle. What are you doing, bro? You're supposed to be blitzing. Out to around the 22. Don't tell me we're going to get to the fourth quarter and not be able to stop the run. Slaughter takes it up the middle. <laughs> down, down. For I'd look for this offense to go back to some more straightforward between the tackles running. They want to win this thing in the trenches. Nope. Hit them in the backfield. To about the 23. Nope. No. No. Get the field goal. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That brings us fourth and fifteen. The last one to go for a screenplay. Yeah. He gets it up and he splits the uprights. All right. So we still have a lead, but it's not a big one. And we got Florida State up by ten on Louisville in the fourth quarter. The Seminoles deliver the perfect connection. We can move up. The Seminoles have the lead. If we get a win here, and they lose. Makes it to the 34. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Gives it to the back. Oh. He's in midfield. 
He's still moving. Get out of bounds. Out of bounds. Around the 41 if you would have picked up that block at first, that makes it first well, he did get one already. And then he got that one. Throwing left. Drop him off. Mr. The 10. Anderson. All the way in for the touchdown. Drop him off. The wide receiver flew Finally. down the field on that touchdown. Connection. Mr. Anderson has, has returned to the, to the end zone. And his hands are getting better every single game. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. Uh, okay. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 44 yard line. Not a real fancy play here. It's just a small. I hope they don't do this in a new game. Protection and a well placed ball. Most times you don't need much more than that. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He's at the 40. Knocked out of bounds at the 34. Now they're trying to kill us on the ground. At about the 35. Nice run, and he's brought down. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. He's on the run. Got him. What are they calling? Personal foul. Face the Hell! You motherfuckers! Can somebody please explain to me where is the face mask? Look. Hands, look where his hands are. Don't get nowhere near his face mask. Quick throw. Got a man, watch out here. He gets hit out of bounds. And just Go like on. that, they about to score. Because of a fluky fake mask. Face mask, not a fake mask. I mean, I guess it, I guess it was a fake mask. <laughs> There's the touchdown. Wouldn't be surprised if they go for two and try to make it a three-point game. Punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. And miss a tackle. So under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and the score is California 28. All we got to do is tackle. And can't even do that. They'll bring him down right around the 40. And he's tackled at the 49. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. He's at the 40. And they make the stop at about the 30. You have to stop Jaden Ott. The Panthers are going to call their second timeout. Hands off to the That's right a good start. Brought down in the backfield. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's taken Ooh. down around the 36-yard line. He's scrambling. Here's the tight end. Has There's the Jermaine Scarrington. At about the 19 And the game line. is over. We're not going to do nothing stupid. We're not going to risk it. We're just going to take the knee and claim the victory. Should have known Pittsburgh was going to come out here. And make it a close game. He'll go down to one knee. But that's all they'll be able to do is make it close. And that's it, folks. Your California Golden Bears remain undefeated here on the road in the ACC at Pittsburgh. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one: California 28, Pittsburgh 25. Pittsburgh played us tough. But we got Jaden Ott. That does it for this edition. And he of always steps on the ops. I'm Brad Nessler saying so. And I'm sorry, Pittsburgh. You were an op today. Defense gave up some big plays. I ain't gonna lie. Giving up 25 points. We gave up 14 on the first two positions. That's one of them. Still don't know where the safety was. That's supposed to be deep. Like, how do you let a man just run clean past you? Speaking of that, J. Michael Sturdy ran clean past him. 
And then we got Mr. Anderson doing the same thing on the opposite side of the field. Ask the DBs, how does it feel? Because you can't hold down the reel. That was a tight end scoring on the first play. But one thing I'm not going to do is complain about winning a game because we can lose games. Kai went 9 of 13 for 155, two TDs, one interception. He did get knocked out for like a quarter of the game, but he was still effective. Jaden Ott was stepping on the ops all day today with 178 yards on 25 carries and a TD. Kai also had 68 yards on 11 attempts, and that's part of the reason why he got hurt because he was running. On the receiving side, Jermaine Scary Terry led the way with 80 yards on three receptions. J. Michael Sturdy had 46 yards on three receptions and a TD. And Mr. Anderson caught one pass and it went into the end zone. That was the 41 yard pass. On the defensive side, Alonzo Chase led the way with nine solo tackles. Shout out to you, my boy. Nate had six solo tackles, four TL fails. Oh yeah. Lou Hearns the third had four solo tackles and two TL fails. Jeremiah also had a TL fail and a pass deflection. Should have been an interception. Maurice Mack had a TL fail and a sack. Achille Calhoun had two TL fails in a sack. Caleb Higgins had a TFL and I think that's about it. Well, we got Tyson McWilliams with a TFL and a sack. All right, for the games around the country, we got Mississippi State taking down Kentucky 34 to 24. We got Arkansas State getting a victory over Georgia State 31 to 24. We got Charlotte taking down Army 34 to 10. Middle Tennessee State gets a victory over a SES team 40 to 14. Number one, Alabama gets upset by Tennessee 24 to 23 oh boy we gonna have some movement and we got auburn getting a victory over purdue 31 to 14. this was a game of consistency at least on our part as you can see we scored seven points in every last single quarter i don't know when the last time we've done that probably never but yeah Pitt comes out and scores 14 quick ones on us but we stay steady we go 7-0 7-0 they did run off 11 points in the fourth trying to make a comeback but it was too little too late we won the first down battle the rushing yard battle by a landslide passing yards we did lose that also had a turnover they didn't it's probably a big reason why they were able to stay close as well but we dominate the time of possession and when we needed to run the clock out we were able to do so offensive player of the game goes to Jaden Ott of course and the defensive player of the game goes to Alonzo Chase chasing down the opposition all right for the recruiting board we still got work to do this fullback probably gonna take that into the offseason looks like we might be able to get this receiver in offseason um got a big lead on this receiver leads on these two as well got leads on the offensive lineman at least two of them yeah three out of the four got some defensive tackles working on as well middle linebacker hopefully we can get that guy cornerback strong safety locked out on this kicker but i believe we will be able to get him i don't know we might need to open this lock yeah who might need to do that also leading on this punter so we if we do get the punter, he can work double duty if it comes down to it. Hopefully it doesn't. And we don't have any new commits, but as you can see, our recruiting class is starting to stack up very well. And for the top 25, we do have a new number one, which is Ohio State. Louisville is the new number two team. They did come back in overtime to beat Florida State. Your California Golden Bears move up a spot to number three. Penn State at four. Baylor at five. Michigan at six. Notre Dame at seven. Georgia at eight. UCLA at 9 and Miami at 10. How far did the number one team fall? Alabama fell from 1 all the way down to 12. That's a long drop. Anyway, let's keep on going so y'all can see what's going on. Washington takes a huge L to Michigan, 34 to 7. Oh my god. Washington State is a new team in the top 25 at 21. San Diego State is a new team in at 23. Wake Forest is a new team in at 24. And Michigan State is a new team in at 25. In the conference standings, we are still sitting on top of the coastal side i think we got what two more games left we play nine conference games so we have to continue to do what we're doing to stay on top of the acc at least on our side on the atlantic side louisville is still sitting on top undefeated this might be a showdown folks it might be a showdown between us and louisville in the acc championship but we cannot fast forward too far because we will get upset if we start overlooking teams for the Heisman watch we got Jaden ott still sitting on top evan Pryor is moving up at the second spot Tyler Buckner at the third spot Donovan Edwards at the fourth spot and Brandon
Branson Robinson at the fifth spot. And if you made it to this part of the episode, you already know how it go on this show. It's the outro. Who can? We go to Pittsburgh and handle business. No need to discuss what happened because it was a road game and conference and those things tend to happen. We now have to move forward to number 15, North Carolina, the only other team on our side that really can compete with us as far as the ACC championship game or knocking us out of the ACC championship game. So we cannot take them lightly. And I'm here to tell you, we will not take them lightly. And I want you guys not to take the like button lightly and go over there and hit that thing. And also subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell we'll be notified the next time i drop a video just like this one and also slide in the comment section and talk to your boy and if you're doing all those great things you can't get on the shout out list and speaking of the shout out list i got it right here shout out to michelle jackson product visuals eric rams matt Ahrens, warmaster 777 thomas bays dare deonne patterson jk youtube arsenio patillo andrew minton aaron meyer roscoe underscore 34 crafty eagle craft little her guy cameron hewlett corn d matthew dillard dirt creek sports leland clark the rock and roll millennial tay burns ethan marlowe aaron kaufman the number one maga general sean griggs H be FLG Blanco, Wheelchair Man 2, Envy Me, and Gandy Man. And like I say in every episode, I appreciate all you guys and guys for doing the things that you do, helping this channel get to where it is, helping me reach my goal of 2K. We're on the way. We are on the way. I think we're like 70 away right now, if I'm not mistaken. Either 70 or 69. Yeah, 69 subscribers away from 2K. Can we get to 2K before the new game comes out? I need you guys' help. Help me do that. And I promise you won't regret it. But I ain't gonna hold y'all up for too much longer. I am your HC. This is the coaching carousel series season three still undefeated still got our playoff hopes alive still trying to win the acc but until next time i'm out <laughs>